So in this tutorial, I'll be covering how to light up a scene in Unity. So let's jump over to Unity here. Um, now, what, what I've done here is I've created a new scene, so it contains absolutely nothing, and it's in a new project which contains nothing that's been imported as assets under this project tab here. Um, so what, what you'll see is that there's a main camera by default as well. Um, so if you hit play, um, this camera actually shows you what uh, you know what the scene looks like, which at the moment has nothing in it. So I'll hit play to stop again. Um, what I'll do is I'll drop a few objects in, um, just so you can see what our lighting is doing. I will make a plane to start with. I'll put it at the origin. Click on the X and type in 0, tab 0, tab 0, that'll center it on the origin. Or you can just right click on transform and click reset and that'll snap it to the origin as well I think. Um, okay, so we've got a little plane there and I will create a few things to go on that plane. Um, I'll make a cube, reset its transform to the origin. Um, I'll move this plane down by half a unit as well, just so that the cube sits on top of it instead of halfway through it. I'll duplicate that cube by hit, selecting it and hitting Control c and Control v and then moving it around using these different arrow, um, arrow things. So, what we'll do now is make a sphere as well, put that at the origin. around a little bit. Okay, so if we hit play now, we don't have any lights in the scene and this is what it'll it'll look like. There'll be a default blue background and a, a bunch of grey objects that you just you can't tell any detail on, on the surfaces at all. So what you need to do in order to be able to distinguish detail on those surfaces is to create a light. Game object create other and then it's one of these three options or if you're using the latest version of Unity you'll see another another option called Area Light. Um, you, you won't really need to touch on that though for this subject. The main ones you'll be using are, are Point Light and Directional Light. Um, so what I'll do is I'll create a Directional Light first. This, this creates a light that comes from a direction so you can think of it like the Sun or something. Now I just hit E to um, to let myself rotate this um, this object that I've got selected. Um, alternatively, you can just click this button up here to rotate the object, and then you can click and drag these little uh, coloured circles, these gizmos, to uh, control the angle that this light points at the scene. Um, some other controls that you can toy with are the uh, intensity of the light, you can make it you know, very washed out by making the intensity you know, some value above 1, or you can make it a, a, a softer light, dragging it down to, to a value that's you know, less than 1 as well. Uh, you can also play with the colour, this, this applies to every single light, so you can you know, make a, a nice sort of afternoon glow by making it orange or something like that. Um, so that's, that's a directional light, and it applies to absolutely everything in the scene. And um, if you've got a pro version of Unity as well, you can select a directional light and set its shadows to actually be cast. So you, you see these objects now have some nice kind of blocky shadows coming out, out of them. If I up the quality settings, you'll see here that the shadows get a little bit more detailed or a little less detailed. and uh, you get various kinds of artifacting on the surfaces and stuff if you reduce the quality. Um, okay, but you need Unity Pro for that to work. Uh, so I'd, I'd recommend saving that until like the last month before your final assignment's due, because the Pro trial only lasts one month. Um, now what I'll show you is how to make a point light, or how to use it as well. Game object create other point light. And I'll center this at the origin again. Right click, reset. 
and I'll hit W to let me click and drag to move it around using these arrows. So the, the first thing you'll probably notice is that that's a very, very bright light to start with. And by default, Unity makes it a very bright light. Um, so what you can do is you can change the range of this light. Uh, there's, there's two ways you can control it. There's one which is up in this uh, Inspector tab here. You can manually enter a number there, like, I don't know, 5 or something, and that'll make the radius of this light 5 meters. So it'll be... Um, you know, a, as bright as it can be, intensity 1 at this um, center point, and then it'll fall off until it gets to this outer radius, at which point the brightness will be 0. Um, you can also control it by moving your mouse to just beside where you enter this number, and you'll see two little left and right arrows appear under your cursor. Then you can click and drag, and you can change the value of this... Um, number here, the, the range of it. Um, you can do that with any number, by the way, as long as it's something that you can type in. You can move just to the left of it and click and drag to, to vary the value. Um, and another way that you can change the radius of this light is to click these little dots that you see around this sphere surrounding that light. Click and drag them in and out so you can control it very easily in the editor itself. You just need to select the light and click and drag. <coughs> um, now what, what I tend to, d tend to find is a uh, good brightness is you know some, something like 0.5 with a reasonably small radius so that way you can create several point lights and move them around. And they, they won't make it too bright if they're very close together. But you'll get a nice, even ambient lighting. So this this would be the sort of uh, light that you'd use if you have like a lamp or something like that in a scene. Um, whereas this one you would use, you know, to, to emulate where the sun's coming from, as I said. Um, I guess the, the last light to cover is a spotlight. Game object, create other spotlight. This one can be used uh, if, if you want to make, say, a street lamp or something like that that focuses on a very specific location. Um, or you can even use it, attach it to, to a certain kind of character controller, which is something I'll cover in a later video. And you can use it as a, a, a uh, torch, the kind that you'd see in games like Left 4 Dead or um, the Half-Life series very easily. So what you'll see is this points, it, it creates a, um, a cone shape that points in the direction of this blue axis. Um, so what it does as well is it you can create, uh, you can control the radius of this by clicking and dragging these little dots as well. And this center dot here lets you control how far this uh, torch, this torch light um, uh, shows up in the scene because if anything's beyond this the end of this little uh, circle here it won't get lit up but the moment you put that circle beyond there you'll notice that the light gets stronger and stronger or weaker as you pull it back so that's that's a good way to control the the fall off of the brightness of this particular kind of light um, and you can rotate it to you know point it down then pull it up and you can expand it out, make it a bit softer, and you, you can, um, just like all the other lights as well, you can change the color and that sort of thing. Um, so yeah, that, that covers the, the main kinds of lights in Unity that you'll probably think of using. Like I said, this cone light, the, um, the spotlight, you won't really need to use for the most part. The main two you're going to be using uh, will be this a directional light and a, a few point lights to give some nice ambient touches to the scene.